This portion of the CU Podcast is brought to you proudly by Manscaped. They are the best in below-the-belt men's grooming, featuring the Lawnmower 3.0. It's, it's, it's balmy outside right now. It's a little humid, even in San Diego. And you want to make sure you're, you're nice and, and clean in certain spots so you wh- whisk away as much uh, sweat as possible. Zip it up. Clean it up. Use the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0. It has a ceramic blade. It's nick free. It's got a little light on there so you can see where you're going. No more injuries to the family jewels that are going to follow you around and haunt you all damn day long. If there was ever a time to try Manscaped, this is the time. This is the season. The Lawnmower 3.0. You can get 20% off and free shipping. With the code CU Podcast at manscaped.com. But Ian, that's not all they have. They also have they have shampoos. They have body washes. Midday, feeling a little down. Oh. Try a shot of the crop reviver ball toner. You have, Ian. You said you've tried that. Just give it a whirl. You give it a little 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 spritz. A little spritz a roo. It, it just feels fresh. Just feels fresh. Like 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 the morning dew. Like 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 you just got out of the shower. <laughs> and they also got the yeah, they got the, the ball deodorant as well. I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna sniff. I'm not going to see how you're doing down there, but if you're not sure, better safe than sorry. You get the ball deodorant, you get the preserver, the ball preserver, and you're good, you're good to go. Again, 20% off and free shipping. Go to manscaped.com, code CU Podcast. Get trim with Manscaped. The Playdate came out with uh, an update. The, the, um, the plucky little uh, Playdate handheld. I like the Playdate. I'm interested in the Playdate. I love handhelds. So the Playdate, if you don't recall us talking about it the first time or if you haven't seen the news, it's a smaller little system. Basically, it's a little yellow handheld with a uh, black and white screen, a very nice black and white screen. It's yellow. Uh, um, and it has a crank on the side. <laughs> you get your B and A button like a Game Boy. You get a you get a you get a, a D pad and you get a crank. Um, they basically <laughs> the uh, so how they were pla- so how this was pitched is basically it's a um, portable system they're going to release, and with it comes a season of games, and each game unlocks. I think they were saying they uh, a game unlocks uh, one a week. Um, which I think is an interesting way to do it. So it just downloads to your and, and it downloads to your console, and it's interesting because twelve it, games in season one. It kind it, it it makes or maybe it was one a month. I'm sorry, um, could have been one a week. Uh, I'll look it up while you talk. Yeah, um, but ba- I think it was yeah one a week. But basically, this is to keep people talking about the games as they come out, so everyone's kind of on the same page. Everyone's talking about the same thing. Um, Yokoi Kids, which I talk about at the beginning, does this as a monthly Game Boy of the Month Club thing. It's fun to just kind of give everyone an idea of hey, play this, play other stuff too, but everyone play this as well for a month because it fosters conversation about games and things that you maybe wouldn't talk about it's kind of like the live tv model and it was like um game of thrones was a big event because it was it was one of the last shows i can think of where they didn't release everything at once and everyone tuned in at the same time so everyone was involved in these these conversations um they got a number of um interesting developers lined up uh i think it's it's a takahashi uh, who did um, uh, bu- 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 uh, Katamari Damacy okay. is doing one. Zach Gage, who did the great uh, word game Spell Tower uh, for iOS and Android, is doing one. And I know there was there was there was a lot more. And it was a it was a decent lineup of um, interesting developers. And then, of course, it has the crank on the side. The crank is not going to be used by all the games, but it does have just a crank on the side that you can turn. Because it's cool. It's like a toy. It's neat. And it's some sort of, some form of analog control, and it's it's something different. That, that's why I, 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 I'm very bullish on the Playdate, because it's something different that connects directly to these games, and something about a, a handheld where it's not just a video game console, it's now a toy. And I yes. think that's the appeal of this. This is also like a toy device, and it's not super spendy. It's one fifty. One fifty as of right now, with twelve games basically. Yep. I would not necessarily be surprised if we see the price go up. 
before it launches. Well, it's Get supposed it. to be uh, limited, correct? It's not supposed to be yes. like... There, it is going to be, they said that uh, even from the beginning that the first run at least would be fairly limited. They would see how they how it would do. That's one reason that I like the play date. Unlike other things that have uh, been announced or in work or in in um in production, uh, where they think it's going to uh you know disrupt the market or change the game. Market disruptor. Um, Playdate seems to know that it's a niche item for certain people, and they've marketed it as such. They don't think sure. they're rewriting the book on this. Um, I do hope I can get one. Uh, so they did an update recently, and they uh, just uh, wanted. Uh, uh. Also tonight, another oh, good one. Yeah. <laughs> so they want they 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 put out a little preview. Um, so there are 250 people. This is another reason why I like them. The product exists and it's, it's been created. Yeah, it's been created. They've shown uh, units being used since day one. No job listings coming. Day up. one. Uh, over 250 people around the world now have actual play dates in hand. They're putting tools and tech to the test, building the first third-party games. They announced a developer preview uh, yeah. program sort of thing. So they announced a program, a program that are previewing some of the games already that are being developed. So there's a dungeon crawler uh, that looks nice uh, down the down the oub oubliette. Uh, there's an interesting calligraphy tool. These, a lot of these are just tech demos, but there's like a calligraphy tool that there's shows the crank being used to uh, set the direction of the brush, which is kind of drifting cool. Drifting with the car with the, the drifting <laughs> is off uh, is awesome. Uh, that's what I meant to say. There's an <laughs> overhead race. Well, it's not a racing game yet, but it, there's an overhead uh, demo of a car. But you can imagine, and you, yeah, and but you, imagine you yeah, use that as a steering wheel, though. That's cranking, a really cool idea. You use the crank to drift and turn. Imagine like a super sprint with that. That's a great idea. There's, there's a little Tetris sort of game. Yeah, there's a Tetris sort of game where you're using the crank left and right uh, some, slides some your, move. slides the uh, um, slides the actual play field left and right, which is pretty cool. And then uh, there's <laughs> Klondike Solitaire and other things. They go on to say that um, there is uh, that that's going to be a few more months before they announce anything relating to pre-orders. Um, I forgot. There's an accelerometer. Oh yeah, there is well. too. Because there's a they there's show a, an overhead RPG where you literally just oh, tilt it to move the character. It's a cute little ball around. You're moving it. So is an accelerometer. Yeah, it's, uh, it's basically um, it's like Kirby's tilt and tumble. Okay. So uh, and yeah. of course, what Doom mini gun with the crank, <laughs> chain gun to Doom. Uh, someone pointed out that this is obviously BS because the chain gun is not available on this level. So uh, okay, well. <laughs> But yeah, there's a uh, well. It's interesting that they switch it to the weapon by pulling it out and then they crank it. Yeah, they uh, they yeah. There's a there's a black and white Doom demo, and by using the crank, you can fire the chain gun. Which well, did you neat. notice that though? If you watch the, the the video, when it flicks out, yeah, that's a function. It changes the weapon. So that's like a, basically a function. Yeah, a, a, a controller function, just flipping it out. Flipping it out. So yeah, so you can do something with that. Um. And go, yes, yes, we know that. But does it run run Doom? Yes, it does. It runs Doom. Yes. And honestly, it's probably going to be pretty good. Obviously, it's in black and white, but it'll, it'll be all right with a cute little speaker. <laughs> so um, remember, every so then they go on to say uh, there's too much to tweet. Um, not all of these projects will ship, but it's amazing to see these devs experience to otherwise get up and running quickly. Uh, remember, every plate it is a dev kit. You can make your own games when you get yours if you want, which is cool. That's that, that's to be I think a bigger deal here because this is great. and that's the thing that Ardu Boy did as well, which was very very cool. I keep forgetting to look into that. Standard Ardu Boys are not 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 to not to uh, take the thunder out of Playdate. Standard Ardu Boys now are twenty nine ninety nine. If you want one that has two hundred games on it and a switcher, so you don't have to constantly change the game, they're fifty nine ninety nine. What do you know, is, what is a switcher? So just, uh... the original Ardu Boy could only store one game at a time. Okay. Uh, then they made a mod chip. Well, you can get a mod chip. Like the actual company made it to mod your st original Ardu Boy, or you can just buy an Ardu Boy called an Ardu Boy FX that has 200 games preloaded on it, and you can switch the games on the actual gotcha. system without having to do it on the computer. And it's most of the big name games. It's most of the games that you'd want to play on it. That does include like the licensed ones that came out with the standalones, or no? That's different. Yeah, no, that's it's all of those because they're all free. All oh. those games are free. Oh, it's so all like open market. It's all open source. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like the Galaga. Like I'm looking at the the, the standalone ones, like uh, that they came out with. Oh no, it doesn't have those. Doesn't have those. No, that's what no, I mean. No, okay, because no. you're the one. That's you, that's totally different. That's a different product. Line. That's a different that. product. It's gotcha. One hundred percent. Those like you had the Tetris one, right? No, Vani has the original black and white Tetris one, which is amazing. Okay. I have two standard Darder boys. Okay. So they have a bunch. They have a bunch of minis that are in color here that look pretty cool. But anyway, so it's so it's only twenty nine bucks for the Ardu boy just by itself. A standard Ardu boy for one at a time. But they, okay, so you said it's sixty with the. With the with the to get all two hundred games. 
Okay. Um, and you can, all, uh, of course, add more. And stuff that thing's like that. a credit card size, right? That thing. Yeah, it tiny. literally slides into your wallet. Yeah. So, so we're, we're like this renaissance of handhelds between. The I love it. Three I was months. talking about it the other day between the the Playdate and the Ardu Boy, and people are starting Pocket. to make people are starting to make little Pico Eight consoles. And yeah, oh, they the, are the uh, are the Pico the, um, Amigo, uh, the the uh, Amigo, uh, the analog uh, Pocket. Um, Pico Eight is a is a developing language that yes. they've started to put into like little little like Ardu Boy consoleized forms. I didn't know that. So we're talking about, we're talking about like you know simple eight bit little games that are just adorable. And I love it. It's so it, it it it's 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 very fun to pick up something that only does that. I go to play a game on my phone while I'm waiting for something, and I I, I click Twitter or I check my mail or I do anything other than play a game. Pick up something that's dedicated with it's simple just, games on it. It's, it's fun. It's the only thing good about 2020. The handheld uh, revolution. Yeah, the the weird handheld round sounds. So, anyways, play date dev kit. Last thing they say. Finally, we can hear you yelling from here. Yes, but when is Playdate coming out? Expect a big update in the next few months with our timeline, pre-order details, a surprise, and title reveals of all the free games you'll get in Playdate Season 1. That is my console war. Ardu Boy versus Playdate. Who's going to come out on top there? <laughs> well, well, one's a lot cheaper. I mean, they're, they're also very different. Um, yeah, well, and Ardu Boy, I mean, the people, the, the guy who's behind Ardu Boy is very interested in the Playdate. Uh, they even went and made like a, he went and hacked like a, a fucking controller into the side of an Ardu Boy to control something oh, really? early on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's fun. I mean, I, these, this is, this is one of those things where it's not a competition. I think these are all people well, who are I'm in being, it because they yeah, enjoy I'm it. I'm being facetious. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's always going to be a need. But I'm looking at I'm looking at some of the Arju Boy games that look adorable. It's a little Legend of Zelda type of game. See, so yeah, yeah, I, I got to pick up Arju Boy. Is Boy. awesome. I, I got I got to pick it up. Um, I got to support some of this this little stuff here. I'll get all these handhelds. I'll get, I'll get all these ones. I didn't know that I didn't know that they that, that many Arju Boy standalones. I didn't know they had that many. I didn't know. I didn't know. They're not. Yeah, those are the pocket arcades. Those are yeah. technically not Arju Boys. I think the actual structure inside is different as well. Yeah, but uh, they're all they're all they're in that cider case. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Micro arcades, I guess they're called. Yeah. All right, well, okay, well, okay. So, and it says it's going to ship 2020 play date. So they're gonna, they got to put up orders and ship it within four months. Did it say 2020? It said 2020. Well, a few months. I mean, they've got they've got a few months. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It says in the bottom. Yeah, it no, will right. ship in 2020. So. I guess it may not get in 2020. It'll ship in 2020. I, I see something happening with the play date where more people are going to be interested in this than they have. It's going to sell out, and then they'll probably do a second run in 2021. Can Ardu Boy play Doom? <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's, it's what Ardu Boy play. cannot play oh, Doom. Oh, that's a shame. No, no, no. I'm sure it can. Come on. <laughs> no, it can't. Freaking TI calculators in high school could play Doom somewhat. 